All right, Programming 12. Wow, look at the magic we have here. <laughs> so we're going to talk about uh, making clickable buttons, and we're going to take a look with uh, some uh, pen and paper uh, on how the math works for this. So before we get into the code, I just want to go over the math. We'll start off with um, circular buttons. So circular buttons are pretty common. Even in processing, you can see we're using circular buttons. Ooh, that focusing is a, is a little uh, shaky. Uh, so they're really easy to program, and so that's why we've started with circular buttons. So basically, if we have a sketch here, I'll just try to draw a basic sketch. And we have a circle that we want to see if our mouse is touching. Uh, we can do that math. So here's, a say, a circle. And let's say it has a radius of, I don't know, uh, you know 200. And we want to make that clickable. And let's say um, its position is, um, well, I don't know, let's call it uh, X and Y, I guess. <laughs> no, no, very exciting variable. So this is X, Y is the center of that circle. And its radius is 200. So all around is 200, is 400 wide and 400 tall. So how is it that we can check to see if a mouse pointer, like if this pen was the mouse pointer, you know, what? It, how is it that we are going to uh, see with math alone whether or not the pointer is inside of the circle. Obviously a human can just use their eyes and be like, yeah, it's inside. But a computer has no eyes, it only has math to work with. So what kind of math can we do? So let's say this is the mouse pointer here. We know that this point is given to us by mouse x and mouse y. At least that's how processing can see it. And what we can do is we can calculate the distance, this distance, and we can compare it to the radius of our button. So if the distance from the center of the button to the mouse pointer is less than the radius, well, I guess we our mouse pointer is inside of the button. So how do we code that? Basically, that is just going to be an if statement. And we can use what's called the dist function to measure distances. It's really just the Pythagorean theorem. Like you could uh, roll this yourself, you know, like you could create this code yourself. But they happen to give it to us, we'll just use it. So it's basically uh, if the distance between the points that are the center of, this, of the button, um, and so we got it, uh, to the mouse pointer, so we have to calculate that. So uh, distance between x, y, and mouse x, mouse y. I'm going to run out of room. I'm just going to call it MY, if that's OK. It's really, I mean, mouse Y. Uh, oh, wait, we're not done. Uh, oh, we just kind of ran out of room. Let's try again. If, I'm going to write a little bit smaller. If the distance between uh, X and Y and mouse X, I'll just use MX. You should use mouse X, uh, uh, mouse Y is less than our radius. So less than, in this case, would be 200. Then we know something is going on. We know that the mouse is inside. So we would also have to include some kind of clicking to make that work. Uh, but this alone, this code is pretty good for uh, working with like making a button tactile. So like that means when, a, when your mouse moves over it, the button can highlight in some uh, way or uh, form. So this is sort of the important math here for checking out circular buttons. Okay, so we'll go back and code some stuff. While we're uh, doing that, let's also take a look. Oh, there's my house. <laughs> I had to like plan all that out to make sure it worked nicely. All right, let's get some new paper and let's take a look at rectangular buttons. So the math behind rectangular buttons It's a little bit different, but not a big deal. So if you have a rectangular button, uh, let's make a sketch. Here's our rectangle. So let's say that rectangle is given by the following uh, code. So let's say it's rect. Uh, that looks like it could be a 100, 100. And maybe it's um, 200 wide and 100 tall. 
So let's just say we drew it with that code. Okay, so that means we need to check to see if the mouse coordinates are sort of inside of this box. So we need to sort of figure out, you know, what are these lines here? Like what, what are these different areas? And then we can create inequalities to check if, you know, the mouse pointer is, its x coordinate is greater than this number and less than this number. And as the mouse y coordinate is, you know, because it's upside on y axis, greater than this number, but less than that number. So, you know, if we shade in all these inequalities, like you might have done in math class, you know, you'll eventually have just this one region. So we basically make a system of four inequalities. Before we do that, we should probably check and see what these numbers are. So if this is uh, drawn at 100, 100, that means this x coordinate here is 100, and this y coordinate here is 100. Uh, in, if we're looking at the width is 200, that means that this number is 300. And if the height is 100, you know, that's 100 down from here, so that's 200. We're basically taking these numbers and adding them to their counterparts to get the other side. So now we need to make a system of inequalities to check to see if the mouse x coordinate is greater than 100 but less than 300. So it's in this region here. And then we need to check to see if the y coordinate is greater than 100 but less than 200 to see if it's in sort of uh, this region here. And if both are true, then it must be in this region here. And that's, that's how you make a rectangular button. So that if statement gets a little bit long and I probably will regret writing it <laughs> like I did the, uh, the other one. So basically we can check to see if, and I'll use mx again. So mx, you know, really you need to use mouse x. So first we'll see if mouse x is greater than 100. And we also have to make sure it's also less than. So how do we say and? So and is using two ampersands. So if you can't quite read that, it's the same as shift seven on your keyboard. So it's, the, it's also the symbol for Dungeons and Dragons. So I don't know if you know that game, but that might help a few people out there. So mx, uh, mouse x is greater than 100 and mouse x is less than 300. And you can do less than or equal to as well, but I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna put my and here and normally in processing you would just keep going, but I've run out of room, so I'll just go over to the next side. Now I'll do the mouse Y stuff. So mouse Y has to be greater than 100. And mouse Y has to be less than 200. So if all four of these things are true, then I know that the mouse is inside of this space here. So that's, um, that's basically the story of how you can take you know your coordinates and create an if statement to see if it's clickable so there you go there's some math for you i hope that made sense and you're going to get a chance to try it out uh yourself so you're going to make your own buttons uh before you do that though i would like to go and uh show you some examples in code of these buttons working i'd like to make them tactile and also we didn't really talk about how do you make it so that when you click on something it, it does whatever it is supposed to do. So we'll make some simple buttons, do some simple things, okay? Thanks everybody, I, <laughs> I'm experimenting with this. Give me some feedback in class. I know the focus wasn't so good here like that. It was kind of focusing in and out in weird times. So I'll keep working on making these, uh, these paper ones work. Hopefully you had a reasonable learning experience nonetheless. Okay, thanks everybody.